boxing news now. There was a busy night of boxing in Hammersmith last night. The WBF middleweight world championship fight between Delroy Leslie and Lester Jacobs. That's coming up later in the programme. But now we can bring you one of the, the pick of the fights from the undercard. An eight-round featherweight bout before the 24-year-old Midlander Mark Payne. He's fighting Vladimir Borov from Bulgaria and rigside John Rawling and Robin Reed. Seconds out. Scheduled for six rounds, this the first. And Mark Payne in the white shorts from Coventry in his 10th professional fight. And up against a pretty experienced campaigner here, and that's a good start from Payne. Good left hand and showing him the way from the word go. Yeah, it's always a good sign that to, um, you know, stand to authority, get the first uh, decent punch in, which he just did do with that uh, left hook. Good, solid left hand, confident start and plenty of support as well for Mark Payne in this auditorium. Came with it, in with a gown on the back of it, it said, feel the pain. <laughs> and I think he did in that first left hook in the first uh, couple of seconds of that first round. Borov's been around though. In the distance with Rakim Mingaleev, who's fought on these shores. Was stopped by Patrick Mullings in the very last round, in fact, in the last second of a 12-round fight. Mark Payne, who cut up badly in his last fight, Really going looking for him. Yeah, that's what it means. Good left hook again, body head. And uh, left up a foot as well. I like his hand speed, Robin. Yeah, fast hands. Yeah, he's got fast hands. That, uh, I mean, it's always a good combination that he can get it off. Uh, left hook to the body, left hook to the head. And uh, he got it off. And again, yeah, he got it off pretty well. Well, no doubt that he's bossed the early stages of this fight. Yeah, he's a uh, very convincing shot, uh, very powerful left hook by the looks of it. Uh, he's sinking them both into the body and to the head, which is good. A bit of sneak right hand, though, from Borov. Borov, yeah. Just showed him that... Uh, he's still there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he means a bit of business, at least. Genuinely competitive fight, I get the impression, with this one. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with foreign fighters. Sometimes, you know, you get a bit of worry sometimes that, you know, maybe they're not, you know, they come over here, take a decent punch, or whether they're going to lie down or not. But obviously, Barov, you know, he took a couple of good punches there, and he's still throwing good shots of his own. So at least we know it's going to be a fight. Mark Payne certainly should be in shape. He's been sparring with Michael Brody as he has been preparing for his world title attempt. That's a good first round. Good first round indeed for Mark Payne. And here's some of the action from the opening round. And it was the left hook, which was really the scoring shot again and again for yeah. Mark Payne. Yeah, uh, repeatedly when he threw that left hook, both body and head. Round two. Second round then due to go six. And we've got Mark Payne having taken the first. Mark Payne comes from a real boxing family, with yeah. brothers Gareth and Aaron, also fighters. Got in again there. Yeah, he's good right hand to the body there. That's what I, I, I like to see him do more of. Throw his jab, open him up a little bit more with the left jab, which he seems to be doing more of now. You can tell with them shots. Every shot's thrown with bad intent there. <laughs> Borov is due, though. He looks as though he's got a good chin, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's taking some uh, good shots there. He's still coming back with his own. It's even pain, even with his jab. You know, it's a, it's a, stiff, it's a good, stiff jab. You know, like I say, it seems that every shot has uh, got power behind it. 
He's well schooled though, he's got a decent amateur pedigree, he's going to work a game with that left hook. Yeah. He was in the British schools as a lad, he's uh, fought at high level as an amateur and you know yourself, if you've got that sort of pedigree behind you, it doesn't half help. No, yeah it does, it's, it's a good help. I mean some people say that like that transition from amateur, profe uh, amateur professional it's sometimes it's not going to go, but I mean I think at, at, at the top level as an amateur it's always going to help you in the professional ranks. There seems to be a bit of blood coming from his eye, though. Yeah, they were working on it between rounds, and it just looks as though there's a little nick yeah, that's over right. the left, left, side. left eye. Yeah, looks a bit of an awkward cut, that as well, because it's... Uh... Some fighters, of course, as you say, bedeviled by that good right hand yeah. in there from Payne. You think about fighters like Billy Schwer and going back a bit, of course, people like Henry Cooper always had to battle with that through their careers. Exactly, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's not as if he's tough enough as it is. <laughs> Good snappy jab. Yeah. <laughs> good oh, shot. good body shot. That was a really meaty left hook he threw in there. Yeah, very good left, uh, very good left hook to the. I think he should throw more off that, to be honest. Off his jab though. Like that. <laughs> Doubled up beautifully, didn't he? One to the Time body. Down yeah. came the gloves, and there it was into the yeah, face. Beautiful. I mean, that's always a thing when you find... Whoa! Oh, well, that's a slip, but he was, uh, he was protesting to the referee about a low shot there. I think it came on the blind side of referee Ken Curtis, and it may have uh, possibly strayed a little bit south of the border. Could have done just slightly. But it's hard to tell, like I say, he's whipping them in lovely, them left hooks to the body. And again. Another one right on the uh, dividing line. It's another good round, though, that for Mark Payne. Yeah, I'm very impressed, especially with the, uh, the, the, the hooks. Like I say, he's doubling that up lovely from body to head. He's a well-schooled fighter with good hand speed, and it's reaping its rewards. That was the one which uh, may have been low. As you say, it's really going to work, wasn't he? You can, you can see how he sets his feet, you know, he's got a wide stance, sets his feet, and there uh, whips that left hook in beautifully. And again. Well, I think to be fair, it was a little bit. Yeah, just a little, uh, a little bit, bit low. I have seen worse. <laughs> Fourth round, due to go six, and uh, they just forgot to put the gum shield back for Mark Payne. But he's looked good so far. The young man from Coventry in his tenth pro fight. Nine out of nine in victory terms to date, and it looks as though he's heading for number ten. Yep. Borov's got a reputation for being a, a durable sort of fighter, and having taken those big body shots, he's got a little bit of spring back into his step. Yeah, I mean he's proved that he's proved his worth tonight. He's uh, took a lot of decent shots. He's still there, like you say, throwing shots back and catching there, uh, catching pain. Well, he just had a little bit of success there. Now the referees. Now what's this about? Are we having another look at the? cut above the eye I think uh, that would be desperately unlucky if Mark Payne were to be stopped at this stage yeah very because he's uh, there he's was a flurry of punches thrown there I think the referee's going to allow it to go on a, if you notice there's a headbutt as well so I think that didn't do his uh, his, his cut too good well both men now with quite substantial cuts Oh, good good left hand. This fight is uh, becoming oh, a little shot. bit lively. Good left hand. Yeah, good left hand. Surprised me how Borov's still standing from taking shots like that. Well, Payne will know that he's cut now and he's wanting to take him out. Good left hook again. I don't think he can take too much. I think it won't be long before the referee's going to have to step in and stop this one. There's a lot of blood around in there, but oh. Payne's going to work with tremendous, tremendous purpose. Yeah. Double left into the body, left into the head. 
I mean, uh, surprised how he's still standing, Barov. He's taking some stick in there. Whoa! Well, that almost put him on the commentary position by the side <laughs> of the ring where we're sitting. I think he just needs to get his space here, okay, and keep that little bit of space in between so we can get them hooks off. We don't want to get too close. I mean, look at them. That is quality work. I think the cut is actually on the forehead and is not giving him too much of a problem, Mark Payne. No, it doesn't, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not as bad as it actually first thought. No way, this bar is right on the eyebrow. stiff he's taken to the body. I was just about to say, I think Mark Payne, as the bell goes to end the fourth round, must be starting to wonder what on earth it's going to take to get this man actually out of there. Exactly, I mean, that's so frustrating for a fighter, you know, to actually be landing and connecting with good body shots, you know, both right hand, left hook to the body. You know, he, to he totally dominated that round. Boris Barov first up was still. Yeah, Barov was up. Keen to get on with it, and Mark Payne looking a little bit weary as he made his way slowly to the middle to touch gloves. Uh, that's the first time I've seen Payne actually backing off all through the fight, to be honest. He's on his back foot a little bit there. Well, Unless he's just playing it safe, he knows he's ahead on points. You know, maybe he wants to just get off behind his jab and go for the safe bet. I think he's blowing a bit, Robin. Yeah, he is a bit, actually. A bit less coming from him, to be honest. Yeah, it's a sneaky little left uppercut from Barrow. Yeah, he's a capable old pro, this guy. I say old, he's actually only 23, but in, <laughs> in professional terms, in his 21st pro fight, he, he knows his way around yeah, the exactly. ring, doesn't he's, he? He's a seasoned pro, as you'd say. I mean, the funny thing is about Barnoff, he just seems to be coming to life now, to be honest. <laughs> you know, he's starting to, he's starting to uh, slip them shots, he's got his hands up tight. I think it's all coming a bit too late, yeah, though. Yeah, a bit I'm too sure late, though. <laughs> I'm sure Payne's corner will have told him, told him just rely on your boxing yeah, and exactly. get on your bike and get through this last three minutes. Yeah, uh, just needs to keep popping that left jab out, keep Barnoff away. He doesn't want to let him get too confident, though. I think he could do with another, you know, a big... Uh, a big shot just to let him know he still is there. Not seen too many of those body shots which no. were so emphatic earlier in the fight. Right in. Well, he was throwing combinations earlier on, now he's... Yeah, it's just single shots now, obviously he's yeah. uh, feeling the pace a bit more now. If you look at Payne's face, it looks like he's, you know, to be unfair to him, he looks like he's taken more shots, which he hasn't done. Yeah, it doesn't really look terribly pretty, does no, it? Well, that's, you know, compared to Barov, who's took a lot of stick throughout the fight. I'm afraid that that's something that Mark Payne's going to have to contend with. Has that tendency to cut. Well, oh, that's a good right hand. hand. A nice, that was a very nice right hand there. He just laid back and uh, dropped the right hand and showed a little right hand. Borov's got to find something big if he's going to take this out. Yeah. Yeah, see how he's making him miss now? I mean, like we said, it has come a bit late, but I mean, he's, he's making him, you know... If it was a ten-rounder, yeah, it could still to, be very interesting. To be fair to Payne, it's a good job, it is only a six-rounder, but yeah, I think he's got that safe in the bag. He's surely going to get the verdict, and indeed he does. Ken Curtis raises his arm, and uh, to my way of looking at it, that's another pretty impressive victory for young Mark Payne. Ten out of ten now, 24 years old, and he keeps on winning. He's got the battles of, uh, he's got the scars of battle in there, but nevertheless, he's won it and he's won it well. Yeah, very impressed. Um, you know, right up until the last round, he's done some beautiful shots. Good uh, left hook to both body and head.
Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, referee Ken Curtis has scored a contest. For Borov, 54 points. For Payne, 60 points. Your winner, he's still undefeated, from Coventry, Mark Payne. Referee gives Let's Mark show Payne every round. Very game boxer and that indeed. is an impressive Vladimir victory. Borov. And we've got the WBF middleweight championship of the world fight coming up later. That's Delroy Lesnar, the champion against the unbeaten Londoner, Lester Jacobs. Now, 